Go to the desk. Double lift now for me. Rush hour. Yep. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Great. So tell me your thoughts coming into that match. How did you feel coming into uh, the game against Coast? Uh, I felt really confident because even though we lost versus XCG, I felt like they didn't really beat us. We just kind of beat ourselves through really bad decision making. But we kind of went over it and we got over those little like bumps that we had against XCG. And we thought that if we played just as well against Coast, it should be no problem. Okay, Afro, how do you feel like you guys did in this game? In this game, I felt very comfortable in lane, and I felt like everyone was confident after our team meeting discussion with Moni before and after this game. So okay. it was really good. Everything go according to plan? Yes. All right. So what was your plan then coming into this? What were you trying to accomplish? Our plan in this game was really rotational based, where we just have to go even in bottom lane, and the solo lanes have to keep uh, Coast's assassin, you know, they like to play assassins, yeah. just go even in lane two, and just have Elise try and counter gank the Wukong wherever he's going to go and mm -hmm. apply pressure, and that way we can get one tower in one lane and then they can start rotating throughout the map and then we can start grouping with our poke comp with Ziggs and just win the game after that. Cool. So I know one thing you guys talked about in the preseason, uh, before the, the season really started, you said that CLG can now carry from the bottom lane because sports getting more gold. Double lift, you always say that you're going to carry a game anyway. How have you guys felt? Like, have you been carrying from the duo lane here? Um, recently, yes. Recently, yes. Yes. <laughs> Recently, yes. Only because now we're more coordinated with the jungle where we walk together to get vision control, so it's not as scary bottom. And normally I feel super pressured when we don't have any vision control, and usually we lose the 2v2 all-ins or something random happens and we die. But right now I'm just in a really comfortable place, and there's only the only way to go is forward. So. Okay, well, that's good. You guys are doing pretty well so far. Now, Double Lift, uh, we have a replay. Well, one of two we're going to show here, and this mm -hmm. is you saving... Uh, I believe it's saving Link. Uh, he gets jumped over the dragon wall here. Oh, I saved Chowster because he gets... Or, or, oh, I saved Link here. You're right. Yeah, yeah Link just got this. caught. His first immediate response was, hey, guys, I'm dead. And I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> just come down. That's cool. Because I know what has, what's going to happen right here. Leona's going to eat him. And what, what always happens is, like, oh, she actually throws her ulti right here. But if she had eat, I would have just knocked her away, like, after she was done eating. And there was no way that Link really could have died. And I just blocked the ace in the hole. It's really easy. It wasn't really that great of a player, to be honest. I just kind of blocked Ace in the hole and E'd the Leona. Uh, I feel like they, I don't know, Coast just really likes getting picks. That's their style. They, they, you can always guess, like, if one of your teammates is in their jungle or in river or something, they're looking at you and they're looking to kill you. Okay. Um, they don't make, like, team ride rotations or anything like that. They generally just have shifter, like, roam, or they have their jungle, like, look to make picks and just get kills, and then they'll look for the objective, like, after. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of a misstep by us, but it was pretty clean game overall, except uh, I played really bad. So tell me about this, because you said they're a team that looks for picks, and they found a couple of them on you. What happened? Yeah. Um, well, the first one, they 3v1 dove us, and I knew it was coming. I'm like, Shifter's coming. Everyone knew that Katarina was coming to die bottom. That's just what he does on Katarina. That's mm -hmm. his kind of like signature move is Shifter really loves to run. And uh, so we knew it was coming. We said, Link, just hide. Come counter gank this after they dove us, and I died. But it's totally fine, because we got three kills out of it, and that set them really far behind bottom lane. And I ended up actually getting a kill out of it, too, so I didn't even fall behind. Oh, wow. um, and the other times that I died... I just played really bad and got hit by like a trap or like a Leona ulti or something. <laughs> and yeah, I was just really sad when I died. What's that? Oops. Yeah, oops. oops. <laughs> just the oops. Okay, so after we have uh, another replay up. It's the, the big Baron fight where you win kind of a 3v5. Get that up on your screen. Tell me what happens here. Uh, honestly, here we died bottom lane after Peter got caught, and we were like, we have to stop this Baron. So Nian's super far ahead, super strong, and we're like, okay, go instantly on the cat. We can kill him instantly. And then go on with Fujin right here. And Nian's just so far ahead top lane from farming. We just rolled him over after the fight. So you just basically focus the right targets, and yes. then we have more health bars than you? Yep. Yeah, the most important thing here was to just get their two uh, primary DPS off, which was Wiz. As soon as you go on Kaelin, he's not going to be hitting the Baron, which means they're, they're just taking Baron for free, and Wiz died. And then you just kill Shifter, too. He's the reset like potential that might lose you the fight. And then there's just these three useless tanks walking around. It was really easy for to clean up after this. When you were alone in the Baron pit, were you afraid that like it's going to kill you, or were you just like, uh, I know Chaos is going to come over, I can flash over the wall if I need to? Yeah, actually, I had flash right here, and I was thinking about flashing over because Afro had just went ham on the Wukong, and I was like, if Wukong's dead, they don't have Smite. But in the end, uh, Ch Chaos was like, hey, I'm here tanking Baron with you, so you know that's that Chalice Synergy, dude. Chalice Synergy is back. back. Yeah, it's, it's back. back. <laughs> How's it been playing with that lineup again? <laughs> like Chaucer is amazing, dude. I really like playing with Chaucer. Obviously, he's more like, he's a friend first, and then he's a teammate second. Like, I really like just hanging out with him and talking to him. And obviously, he's an amazing player. Like, he's played really well throughout this whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, he provides, like, really good analysis. And another shout-out for Imani, because he really helps us, like, get our shit together for, sorry, 
That's fine. <laughs> for uh, these games, we r we really need him to like drill into us like when to ward, how to ward, stuff like that. Uh, just really basic stuff, or else we just kind of fall apart. Well, I'm glad that you guys are still learning the basics here in the LCS. Good job, guys. <laughs> now, after Mu, uh, all right, next matchup, C9 versus CSM. Where's your money lie? C9. C9 Why? is just really good at objective like control, you. and I do think that C9 has the better lanes. Double? Uh, yeah, C9 too. Uh, not for reasons why people might think. I think Balls is a monster. I talked to Nien about mm -hmm. how it is to lane against Balls, and apparently he's just gotten progressively better and better and better, whereas, you know, the, I mean, people's perception about Dyrus is he's just kind of stagnant. He's just, he's good, but he's not, like, spectacular. Okay. Um, so Balls is now actually just carrying his team on his back, and I expect that to happen again. All right, well, guys, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations on your win. We'll see you, of course, next week, and maybe you can keep your winning streak going. Guys, we got the game going on. Let's send it back over to Riven Jat for the